Hello everyone and welcome to this nerd strat video. So today we're going to be talking about the nerd strategy um, which has become very prominent in Halo Wars 2 and that's in 1s, 2s and 3s as well. So essentially what is nerd strat? So nerd strat generally you would be shipmaster or arbiter um, when using the nerd strat and that's because it comes down to having active the active camo upgrade for elite grunts. So what you would essentially do, and we will show some build orders later on, this is just the introduction to the nerd strat. Uh, what it is, how to do it, uh, things like that. So essentially you would have cloaked grunts as Arbiter or the Shipmaster. There is other variations of nerd strategy that kind of work, but not as well. Um, you can use it with Captain Cutter. Um, Yap Yap as well uh, has a variation of nerd strat. Um, but those leaders you tend to want to be doing it on Frontier because of these little healing spires next to the nerds here. You can cap the, the nerds very quickly. With Captain Cutter's raid and the Sentinels obviously do damage to the Marines because he does not have Cloak. Which means you would run to the Healing Spire to heal back up and come back uh, to complete the Nerd strategy. Whereas with Arbiter and Shipmaster, uh, you do have Cloak Grunts. So you have the ability to go in Cloak and actually cap it. So, <clears throat> if we actually analyse the Power Node here, you see we have this plate around the bottom of the power node. So essentially, when the sentinels are not hovering over the plate and you go in cloak and cap the node, in theory, they, they shouldn't actually recap the node. They actually move back over it there. Um, so you can cap the node while in cloak without being shot by the sentinels and get it pretty quickly due to the banished raid. Capture speed for all units are able to capture faster. So what happens is this happens, you want to try and not shoot the sentinel and you just want to actually run away and you'll usually stay nearby. Uh, in some cases what the sentinels tend to do is one of the sentinels <clears throat> is given the specific task to actually decap the nerd um, if you actually mess this up. So one sentinel will decap the nerd but all that happens is that you have the grunt kill that one sentinel and then the other two sentinels will not start to decap that nerd so this nerd will always be captured as you can see apparently in this instance we executed it per uh, perfectly and they're just stuck there now and this is great because power nerds give one point power per second per power nerd um, so when we compare that to those who don't know an unupgraded gen like this gives three power per second and an upgraded one gives six power per second so if you hold four power nerds, you essentially have an upgraded generator. And since most people build two gens on tech one, uh, you can have this acting as a fair generator, which costs 800 blue. Now that extra economy allows you to get more units out on the map, more map control and contest with your opponents while also having all of this power come in. Uh, over here, this grunt actually took it of his own accord to cap the nerd by himself without Cloak, he did give up his life to the cause, but he did manage to cap the nerd without the Sentinels taking it. So, this is more prominent in team games rather than 1v1s, because as you can imagine, if you're in a 3v3 and you have 4 power nerds producing 6 power per second, uh, that is for every single one of your allies, including yourself. So all of a sudden, three of you have six power per second, and it can be a huge difference in these games. So the main bulk of uh, the nerd strat with the cloak is essentially you would have a build where you are capping all of these power nerds in around a minute. So you can you can do it in about a minute to a minute and a half, and that's before most people have their first generator, definitely before they have their second generator, so you've already got that healthy income, and it's also before you are being pushed at all uh, by anybody on the enemy team, and it can boost you to tech 2 and really give you that advantage. Okay guys, so we're just going to show you a generic nerd strap build uh, against the AI for 1v1s. Now, the reason 1v1s and 3v3s and 2v2s are, are very different in terms of your build is because in 1v1s, you're all on your own. So, committing 300 to the power immediately, like instantly off the bat, like you generally would do in a 3v3 situation, uh, 
is not really good for you because you kill your economy, you won't be able to upgrade your supply pads, you won't be able to get your generator upgrade, and you won't be able to grab any minis. So essentially, you would go with a standard build, get your generator upgraded, get the map resources, grab whatever minis you can as if you was playing normal, and then it would be later in the game after your generator is upgraded and you have 300 power to actually get the cloak to be able to uh, then node strat and get the power nodes. So we did show a variation in the introduction on how to actually cap the nerds. So now you see we got 300 power and we're still just playing around on the map, grabbing our resources. Again, this is just against AI, so there's not going to be anything contested, but we're probably going to be able to grab this power here, grab a few mini bases. Uh, generally on a map like this frontier, uh, we will want three mini bases at least. And you want to be in a position to be able to grab those mini bases. Once you're in a position to grab the mini bases and you have everything, so you're not going to get rushed, the mini still on or anything, you've got your generator upgraded, you'll be waiting on the power to actually get the upgrade for the, the clutch grunt here. You know, usually you can go to the power bundles at the sides as well. You can actually opt to do this in this video. And we're just going to position the grunts around the map. So he's going to be in the center. He's going to be over here. He's going to be on this nerd. And the reason we put them on hold ground next to the power nerds is so that they don't auto cap them before we have the cloak. So we don't want them to auto cap the power nerds before we have a cloak because then we've got to run around all of the map trying to keep our grunts alive uh, and not hit by the sentinels. We'll send this guy over here. We will do our point earned. So five seconds away, you're probably looking at about the 2 to 230 mark to be able to do this. And then because you want to be doing quickly, you'll just go into cloak. And like the introduction, oh shit, <laughs> like the introduction, you won't actually uh, worry about the nerds not being on the little thing in the bottom. So this one's done, we'll just move command him over here so he doesn't shoot the sentinel. You want to you wanna try and get him not to shoot the sentinel, but then if they do start capping it back, you start shooting the one that is actually trying to recap it. So that was pretty nice. We managed to get three out of the five nerds. Now he comes out of club and we shot the wrong sentinel because that animation was glitched. So you see a little animation above the sentinel there. Uh, that shows us that that grunt is actually, uh, that sentinel is actually recapping that nerd. So the others actually worked perfectly fine. So we got three out of five there. Uh, and usually it's not, it's not too bad if they do recap it like that and you don't manage to kill it. But if you are paying attention, you will be able to actually kill the sentinel that's trying to recap the nerd, and then they will not recap it. Uh, but worst case scenario, what happens is you'll have another couple of grunts out on the map already from your build. You just go back in and you recap it and get your team that nerd back. And as you can see, the cloak ability comes back pretty quickly. Local units. And you've now helped your team grab all of that power. In the build, you would normally go into a second generator uh, behind this. And your aim with Shipmaster generally in Arbiter is to be getting Tech 2 as quickly as possible. Get those range of numbers out to deal with the infantry on Tech 1. And not only does this give your team all of this power income, but it also boosts your leader points as well. So you can, you can see down here... Uh, above the minimap, this little leader point bar, so the the teal bit here is essentially how far away you are from your next leader point. Uh, and we already have beam, so we got third point there pretty quickly from that. Okay, so for this video, we're going to be showing you how to nerd strat. We're going to be using a 3v3 scenario because I think it's probably more broken in 3v3 than any other playlist, uh, just because it allows you to get a bunch of power for your team early on but it is going to be better in a team setting rather than playing with randoms just because you are susceptible early on because you are crushing your economy to be able to do it and um, so if you do get rushed you'll want some competent teammates to be able to defend you uh, during that period while you are capping the nerds.
So nice map to do on here. Um, so it's going to be on Frontier. Uh, we're going to be showing the Shipmaster Nerd Strat. Can also be used with Arbiter and Cutter, as I mentioned earlier, but not as good. Uh, it's much faster with Shipmaster. It's definitely the best leader to use it with. So you're immediately going to open uh, with Double Grunt. You're going to take Banish Raid and you're just going to initially collect some resources out on the map. You kind of want to collect the resources positioned where the nerds are going to be. So these five grunts that we're starting with are essentially going to be the grunts that take the power nerds. So that's where we want to position them. Now, I upgraded my harvester, which is going to cost me 200 power. Because I know I'm going to get this power here, which is going to be a hundred power, which is going to allow me to get the cloak upgrade. Usually you will, would not upgrade your harvester if you're not going to get any power on the map. Harvester constructed. There we go. So you miss the generator upgrade, we're just going to get cloak now. And this is where you keep collecting resources and you're just going to get your, uh, your grunts into position. He's going to be over there. He's going to be taking the far one. He's going to be taking the close one. He's going to be taking this one. Are we missing grunts? He wants me to take the mini, but we're not. Um, because of this, we're going to be going into double gen. Harvester constructed. I think we just lost the grunt there in the middle. Uh, no big deal. Just going to queue the grunt afterwards to run away. And then you see one of the sentinels sometimes is going to start retaking it. Just gonna keep spamming now. You just you just want to kill him if he does. You just want to kill the closest sentinel, really. You should be able to kill him before he actually recaps the nerd. And because of that, the other two will not recap it now. You can see this one was done perfectly. And because we're in a game situation, obviously we're doing it pretty quick, so. You're not always going to perfect it, uh, it's going to take some practice, and when you do get the power, you want to be upgrading your generators. So both the gens now upgraded, you can look at getting some grunts out on the map and defending. And you see this one, the enemies grab this one for himself. And you see we now have all of these nerds with all of this power coming in, so we have four power nerds. And because we have Cloak, and it's still pretty early in the game, the enemy don't really have Detect, so we can keep taking these nerds back. And Grunts are really cheap to just spam, so you can just keep spamming Grunts, you can look at an expansion as well, collect more resources. And all you're really going to be able to do on uh, Tech 1 for your team is Grunts, or you can go into a late Ghost Spam. Now you can see the enemy does have a sniper in the middle, so I'm going to be losing one of the nerds, this one as well. But all you're going to keep doing here is sending your grunts to retake the power nerds as the enemy cap them. Just keeping your team on the nerds, and you're going to keep getting leader points for this as well. So we're going to go extract on the second point. You see he's taking this off, uh, so we're just going to go into cloak and take that back. I'm going to go take this one as well. There's nothing really the enemy can do about it unless they do commit to a lot of detect. You can see we're almost tech 2 already with an expansion. The enemy hasn't really gotten a lot done early on. They're trying to push us. We're just going to go up and match our team. And now we get tech 2. We're giving our teammates a bunch of power. They can upgrade their pads. This guy's got way too much power. He upgraded uh, free generators, all his supply pads as well, and getting tech 2. So that is the nerd strat, and you, you just basically keep on top of the nerds throughout the game. Uh, and then you play normally from there on, and you always want to keep a grunt on hold ground near the nerds. And we're just going to play this match out now for the peps of the video. This is a ranked game, obviously, so <laughs> we are going to play this out. I'm going to be super greedy, now upgrade all my pads because of all the power I've got. Go for a fair gen as well, because the enemy is basically not pushing me. I'm just going to spam counters. 
Enemy Spartan! We're losing a power node to the enemy. Raid camp constructed. We just look at the grunts nearby. Just keep him close to the nerds. Just to make sure we can keep taking them back. Complete. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. What? Pay attention. Are you ready, grunts? My grunts await your orders. You can see the Raid enemy the lacking a little bit behind on tech. Raid camp constructed. Weapons ready. And they have done a good job at retaking them so far. They, I mean, they've got three back. It's hard when the sniper's in the middle and your teammate's doing this. Like, he's playing really defensively. He has four gens. It looks like he's trying to rush a scarab or something. But the way the game's going, he's, he's kind of letting us, letting us down. All units. Base is under attack. Our weapons are yours. Stronghold upgrade complete. Watch, pay attention. All units. All units. All units. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. How are you doing over there, Nicole? <laughs> We're losing a you should have a lot of power, though. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. All units. Not well. I'm gonna come back and defend you. Not even. Local units. I got doubles in the beginning. I'm, fine. I'm so rich right now. All yeah, units. Yeah. All units. All units. All units. I'm just gonna get a couple of hunters to make sure that it's fine. It's fine. What is that? It's fine instead. Yeah, I'm gonna slaughter all of this. You can build on my base. I have nothing. I literally slaughter everything and this is where I swap into the football workers. Local units. Local units. Now the ice. Um got another raid camp. All units. We're losing a power node to the enemy. Oh my god. My poor guys. Kill the snipers. Oh, I just lost all the snipers. Oh, we get spirit support so early. Eight minutes. Ah! I got nothing to follow up with that. That's unfortunate. And I am almost tech free if I didn't build anything. I like my infantry upgrades with Shipmaster. Yeah, oh, orange is actually getting online. Where's his scarab? I'm surprised he didn't have his scarab yet. A max pop, so I'm just gonna go take three. All units. All units. They have so much fucking power. All units. All units. Watching all units. All units. Oh, units. Split. Oh, oh, the double bean on green, that's disgusting. Local units. Oh my All god. Units. Teammate literally has nothing All to defend units. here, and uh, two beams just ended green's life. Our allies are attacking the enemy base. Oh, fuck. Where's my target? An enemy spider has been killed. 
Nice, fast damage on this weapon to rare. Without hesitation. An allied base is under attack. Local units. All units. And local units. What the hell? Why did he, uh, my spirit support land over there? They were defending that. That's crazy. Alright. Scorch. Some Infantry upgrades. Foundry constructed. Get rid of that detect. I see enemy wretches. All units. There we go. Safe in here. The enemy. These guys need to keep that rear alive since my only one. Split so we don't get screwed by. Need the powers like that. Ugh. It's only ice. It's only ice. You keep telling yourself it's only ice. Uh, we do. Some really now. Literally, I haven't lost anything, pretty much. Is that a red camp in the middle as well? Oh, where are you going? Oh my god. Where are you going? I can save you. The shield! So up, baby? Oh, baby. You know that warlord? It's the only unit he has. Um, I could go displace. I think I'll hold on to that leader power. I could go displace or I could go... Mass cloaking. Yeah, these engines on my army. I don't know what they're doing. Ooh. Shit. I should look at some shield gems. So I should look at. I guess I will go displace. This army looks scary. All and they just sign mines. Of course. Oh my god. Oh, it's only a glacial star. Good job, Syrian's leader powers fucking suck. Oh my god, no! So close air support, my man. The enemy has captured our power node. Local units. Ah, oh, you can't displace a bison that's uh, sat down on the floor, locked down. Graceless! An enemy structure has been destroyed. Oh, extract. The enemy has destroyed one of our buildings. Yeah, they're all dead. I ain't leave all that, really. My Grizzly Drop actually uh, obliterate everything I have. Come on. That's actually pretty crazy. How much damage that did to me. An allied base is under attack. Harvester constructed. Oh, All units. All units. Our base is under attack. Oh my god, it's gonna get in. Local units. Local units. There's so much what? Nothing. Local units. Local units. There's so much no, this, Yeah, this guy's not really doing a lot to be honest. Let's get shit on. And I throw away my whole army. Like I have For him to just sit under his shield. I need the extra pass slots and we'll upgrade my base. Our 
There's all these banshees, he's Decimus, he's not doing anything with them. I have this players if you need it, just let me know. Probably wait until your shield drops or something. Nice so, uh, gonna kill all that. Oh wow, straight up dead. An enemy structure has been destroyed. Local units. An enemy player has been eliminated. I'm not even gonna display him because we're just killing everything. Ready to crush the local units. Local units. Really no, I'll just bless him back there. Local Lucky. units. Ah, oh, come on. Just use that. GG! And that is Nerd Strap. So much power.